Hello everybody. In this video, I actually created this video to raise awareness of the coyotes conditions in Spring Valley, California, or in general, in what conditions coyotes live in California. Uh, coyotes are really starving. They are really suffering because uh, they don't have uh, the wildlife uh, abundance and uh, range they used to because of you know you know civilization and uh, uh, home buildings and freeway making and whatnot we destroy their environment and their population is suffering from hunger now I'm showing you a video where I'm feeding birds and some bird seeds are left over at night Coyotes are nearly killing each other, fighting over bird seeds. Bird seeds and grains of rice and stuff, you know, wheat, rice, sunflower seed, you name it, these things. So, this at least gives you an idea of how much starved they are. That they normally don't eat, uh, like they, they are like, uh, you know, carnivores, they eat... Uh, meat and they hunt rats and squirrels and rabbits and this and that why are they fighting over bird seeds what the heck is going on let's find out okay so i have thrown bird seeds there which includes all kinds of uh, wild uh, bird seeds and some grains of cooked rice at the lower section by the way you can't feed birds raw rice because rice will expand in their tummies and it's not good um, it could even kill the birds so you, if you're feeding rice to birds they have to be cooked fully cooked rice uh, anyway so these birds are these are all quails this video is not about quails this video ab about is about bringing awareness to coyotes starvation and to see how desperate they are that they are actually feeding off of bird seeds at night so uh, these birds are currently uh, the quails are eating without having the slightest worry in the world uh, they're enjoying their meal uh, they're just uh, feeding on those seeds and I have that little water putty as you can see one is drinking water some of them actually dive into that water putty uh, water uh, tray I should say it's not even puddle it's a water tray some of them are, are diving into it and taking a bath while others uh, are still drinking that uh, very same disgusting water that in which in which one of them are taking a bath I don't know why they do that but they do that that's, that's one of the thing I kind of find odd that, that they would drink and take bath off of the same water source but then again in nature their immune system is so strong that's probably good for them to get a few uh, bacteria and viruses of each other's skin by drinking the very same water that uh, a fellow uh, quail took a bath on uh, so these quails are california wild wild natural wild quails that they live in the bushes and they don't fly very far distances but they can fly um, you know within 100 200 500 feet here and there enough flight to run away from predators and reach the next bush in a desert or in a valley and, and so on so the purpose of this video is to watch the variety of animals that coexist and feed off of the same source of food uh, like uh, seeds uh, throughout the day in the very beginning when I poured these seeds quails came together with a few sparrows here and there and you know it wasn't too crowded just a bunch of quails occasional sparrow would come and, and take a bite or two and they would leave but but mostly quails the quails run away notice one quail is freezing that's because a hawk probably flew by and they freeze in order to hide their presence now watch the evening early evenings I should say during the early evenings the quails continue to feed yet they have company they have a whole bunch of doves together uh, who are also enjoying the same feast and, and feeding off of those seeds uh, 
Now remember, each bird feeds off of a different type of seed depending what kind of beak they have. Smaller birds who have small, short, strong beaks, they can feed off of the uh, sunflower seeds because they can crack open the sunflower seed shell. But bigger birds like uh, doves and quails, uh, their beaks are are not able to crack open sunflower seeds so they are feeding off of those smaller very very uh, tiny bits of uh, seeds and uh, amazingly both birds are feeding off of cooked rice which is poured at the bottom section they love cooked rice um, so that's uh, what they're feeding off now notice in the beginning there were fewer birds as sunset and evening approaches you have a much larger crowd and much larger variety of birds. The reason for that is not necessarily just because they have the habit of eating at night or this, it's just that they will have a better camouflage from predators when they are in the cover of more like sunset darkness and they are feeding at that time. And uh, that's the reason they are uh, you know, feeding at this time. Uh, notice that one dove is inside the tray and at the same time drinking off of it and the fellow dove right next to it is drinking too so now watch when the sun sets and it's a complete dark it's completely different story we have coyotes the coyotes are feeding off of bird seeds look at that coyote that coyote is eating bird seed and then you have another coyote right here which is smelling the camera and that this coyote wasn't very happy about that now remember, these coyotes are really, really vicious. They fight with each other. And in this scene, I have captured uh, them, uh, you know, being so desperate that uh, they're fighting to death, nearly fighting, nearly to death, like really, really, like a violent fight over bird seeds and, and grains of rice. Seriously? I mean, that coyote is full-blown eating birdseed. Look at that. That coyote is eating birdseed. Could you have ever imagined a coyote eating birdseed? Now, I had many previous videos showing coyotes eating birdseed, but never had a video with such violence fight amongst them over birdseeds. And this is the part that I have captured, and I'm going to show you. Now, if you freeze, when that coyote comes close, if you look, he has a tick in his ear. Now it's drinking water as you can see. Now it's amazing to see for how long they can drink water. I mean they can drink for a long time. Nearly a minute. I've seen, uh, this time it wasn't that long but I've seen him drink for nearly a minute. There he came back actually. Now, coyotes are very paranoid creatures. They're really, really paranoid. Every time they eat or drink, they have to go back and make sure nothing is coming behind them. So basically, they're like seeing if there are other like alpha male or rival coyote, uh, uh, you know, what do you call them? Coyote gang members or coyote pack, a rival pack is coming or not. They're always checking. Not to mention mountain lions. I mean, we have mountain lions in California. Maybe not there. They're not as many, but they're there, you know. Now, this coyote went and the other coyote came back. And that coyote was under the impression that the coast is clear. And he it's, it's turned to feed. Little this coyote knows that the fight is just about to start. Now the coyote in the front appears to be an alpha male because it's dominant. Let's see. This is where the fight starts, I believe. Now did you see the dirty looks it gave to the, to the other one?
Now this is where the fight begins. So he is the winner, the dominant male, or I should say the alpha male, and uh, now it's feeding with peace without the interference of the lower ranking males nearby. was beaten or defeated is still is not learning its lesson and see how angry this alpha male appears to be hunger is the derive the main reason these coyotes are doing this if there was abundance of food like it used to be uh, they wouldn't have had to come and fight over bird seeds, you know. We are very lucky that we are witnessing these wildlife firsthand in our nick of the woods, in our neighborhoods. You know, at the rate things are going, they could be extinct. I hopefully not. I mean, they are not endangered. They're actually overpopulated, as far as I know. But. Uh, Still, they're amazing and magnificent creatures. I think it's a some kind of a tick, some type of a parasite in its in its ears. I, I noticed uh, when it came very close to the camera. But you could pause the video anytime to see it, the image in more detail. And let's see. So the fighting scene is about to approach. This coyote is also pretty thirsty. Thirsty. She's she. He's drinking water. Now, I'm not sure about their gender. Each coyote is different. But yeah. Now, also notice there's a butterfly, like a really big moth, big old moth, size of a hummingbird, that's flying around by the tray and came close to the camera. You can rewind it a little bit if you want to look at it. So, this coyote is uh, feeding and peace and harmony and as you can see there are other coyotes waiting their turn to eat bird, bird uh, seeds can you imagine eating bird seeds fighting over bird seeds Now this is a very high definition uh, camera which captures almost every detail of this coyote. I mean you could see small whiskers and hairs and facial features, even eye details and eye color with such high definition. Not to mention the canines, those are some serious canines they, they pack. Now unlike cats these coyotes uh, don't have retractable claws their claws are permanent, permanently in the same position where the cat's claws can retract as they attack an animal
right here if you notice you will see the tick in its ear that parasite there's some kind of a parasite inside its ear there the coyote left and another coyote came to get to get its share of bird seeds yeah the party is over bird seeds so the same type of food is being shared by nearly all wildlife we had rats we had squirrels we had rabbits we had uh, doves and uh, we had uh, quails and now we have coyotes now rabbits also party at night but currently they're not there since the coyotes are here anyways so that's what it is i hope you enjoyed this video if you are interested in seeing more of such nice animal videos subscribe to my youtube channel thank you